people, what's going on, guys? I'm here at the theater to see the new Godzilla movie. Oh, there we go. Godzilla, Shin Godzilla. You were filming the wrong way. I was, but I don't care. God, so, Godzilla was surge, resurging. I'll, I'll, let, I'll let y'all guys know what I, I think care. about it right. after, after, after the film. Woo. The Woo. Movies. Let's go, Godzilla. Yo, I'm in the theater. I'm not supposed to be doing this, but I'm doing it for you guys because I love you. It's a car. It's a car. Just saw Godzilla. Review coming soon. And I'm home. So, guys, uh, sorry for like the difference, but we just got a new modem, and this computer doesn't go wireless, so I need to have the Ethernet right next to wherever the box is, which is right here. So, a little change in area. I hope it doesn't like make you go, ah, but you know, whatever. So, what I'm here to talk about today is the new Godzilla movie, Godzilla Resurgence, or Shin Godzilla, depending on what you prefer. So first of all, let me just say, I am one of the biggest Godzilla fans that I know. I've seen all the movies except for, I think, Final Wars, which was, what, 2005? I don't know. I don't know. It's been a long time since I last thought about Godzilla, but this new movie came out, I, I guess it's been... Last time I thought about Godzilla was in 2014 when Legendary made their own. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. I shouldn't do that. Okay, this new Godzilla movie, got Shin Godzilla. Um, let me just say, this is going to have heavy spoilers in it. So if you don't want any spoilers for Shin Godzilla, turn away now. Also, if you were expecting Godzilla to fight another monster in this movie, uh, you'll be very disappointed because there is no Godzilla versus anyone else. It's uh, strictly Godzilla terrorizing and how the government's going to deal with that. But, um, yeah. So, first of all, if uh, you were expecting this to be like a sequel to Godzilla Final Wars or a sequel off the original Godzilla, well, don't expect any of that. This is a com like a completely new take on Godzilla. I don't think... It's a sequel to the original Godzilla. I don't think... I, I don't know. Uh, I was... When I went to go see it, I was tired and, you know, subtitles. And I'm just like, yeah. But I still enjoyed the heck out of that movie, man. Um, it's, it's very, very political. So if you like politics and whatnot, then this is definitely the movie for you. Because it all deals with the politics of Japan and what they should do with Godzilla. And uh, how they need to think about the people before they just like go in and just trying to mow them down which I feel like is a a uh, I don't want to say reference but that's the only word I can think of right now uh, to like the modern superhero movie with like Man of Steel and whatnot but I don't know so it starts off with uh, a lot of action a lot of destruction it's something you want to see from a Godzilla movie and like Godzilla comes up <laughs> and He's, he's not really Godzilla, really. He's like this two-legged monster with a really long neck and gills that blood comes out of. And that's how the... Which is kind of important to the plot. Um, yeah, it's very weird. And he just kind of like evolves right there when he learns, Hey, I'm on land now. I can evolve. And it's something new that we, we've never seen in another Godzilla movie. Um, so that was, that was a nice change. I tell you what, there's this, the, the, okay, so Godzilla, I'm gonna be honest with you, isn't in the movie much. I think, I feels like he was in it, he was in this one more than he was in Godzilla 2014, but I don't know, I didn't record the time. Um, yeah, but, um, if you were f expecting just like, Oh, Godzilla's gonna rampage through this cities. It's gonna be great. No, no, you're not gonna see that. But in the few scenes Godzilla is in, whew. okay, I really enjoyed this movie. Maybe it's just because I'm just getting off the hype train. Maybe I'm overselling the movie. Maybe I'm over exaggerating. But it was mm. okay. So the one scene where Godzilla, this Godzilla, really shined uh, was it was a nighttime scene and the military. Uh, the U.S. military is trying to stop Godzilla because Japan's like, hey, we need help. And then, of course, the United States is like, we got you. We're going to drop all we got on them. And so, 
the U.S. Air Force starts trying to take down the Godzilla, but Godzilla's just like, uh-uh, uh, and then, like, the whole movie, he's glowing red, like he does in Godzilla vs. That's a trial! <laughs> I just killed your ears. Um, but it's a little different, I guess. I mean, it's kind of the same, but a little different at the same time. I don't know. When he gets hit, you just see him, like, turn purple, and you're like, oh, God, what's going on? Is he going to do what? Is he going, is he going to do it? Is he going to do it? And, like, he turns purple, and, like, he opens his mouth, and you see, like, fire and whatnot, but, like, his bottom, his bottom jaw just, like, split in half. It's like, what's going on? And, like, just fire, and then, like, the purple beam, and just, like, actually took out a whole city in, like, 30 seconds with his breath alone. Duh. Like, this Godzilla, <laughs> this Godzilla is probably, like, mmm. I feel like it's, like, 2014 Godzilla right here and this Godzilla right here as far as, like, uh, power. Because, I mean, like, I feel like this Godzilla, as in power-wise, is more powerful, but the sheer size of Godzilla 2014... Uh, I don't know. If, I don't know the height of God in the of the Godzilla Shin Godzilla, but either way. But okay, so in the theater, I wasn't expecting this, but there's like so Godzilla just does his fire breath, and then they start dropping more missiles on him, and Godzilla's back starts growing, glowing purple, and all of a sudden there's beams coming all out of his back, and it's like, whoa, dude! I was sitting in my seat going, ah, oh, ha. Oh. And then I was like, dang, that's cool. It was weird, but it was cool. So yeah, and then, uh, and then his, like, tail it also shoots fire beam, or not fire beams, nuclear blast, I guess. And, um, there's this one scene at the, near the end where Godzilla is shooting his nuclear breath out of his mouth and his tail. And it's like, what is this? I'm super hyped right now. I'm I'm sorry that I'm like <laughs> Godzilla. I'm, I just love Godzilla. Okay, and uh, so yeah, so I said earlier that the blood to Godzilla was uh, uh, important to the plot, and that's because uh, the way they stop him in this movie, huge spoiler, throw it away, um, is they uh take a sample of his blood and they like see what they can do to coagulate the blood. So that way the blood, uh, his blood, uh, coagulates, obviously. And he just, like, freezes because, you know, logic. Um, yeah, so, uh, that plan works. And the whole time I was like, oh, nah, that, that, this, this isn't the end. Godzilla's just gonna be like, ah, yeah, you think that's gonna, I'm out, I'm free now. But, no, it didn't happen. Godzilla's... At the end, Godzilla is still frozen. Um, the very last shot of the movie is uh, going up Godzilla's tail. And you see, like, these skeletons with, like, Godzilla's spines and, like, whatnot. And it's like, I don't know what it is. And I, I've been reading some theories, and I'm not going to share any of them because, like, I'm probably way off. But I don't know. But, yeah, so, um, that's my opinion on Godzilla. Uh... Resurgence or Shin Godzilla. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I always love you. This is my first review, and I might make more. Actually, I know I won't make more because I love movies. Las Peliculas. I totally butchered that, and I know that I I even take Spanish. I take Spanish. All right, guys. This, this video is getting kind of long here. All right, I gotta go. Bye.